of that shot. And the idea here was to, um, first we defined uh, what shock is in the dictionary, which uh, was an idea that Evelyn had. And then we would introduce our concept that this was finished and, and we came up with a set of questions that we were gonna pose both for ourselves and for those who might interact with the site. How do you get four people to agree on one point of view? And I think maybe that's why a lot of blogs, you've been successful at a group blog, but there are also individual elements and there may be an overall mission, but I think that's why a lot of blogs, a lot of the really blogs I like, are one obsessed person. <laughs> um, you know, that, that's why you have to be very specific about who it is that you think you're trying to appeal to. And if you want to broaden that base out, you may have to provide several different options. I, I like the definition of the shocking thing, but I would have put that maybe like over here. Okay. And right here I would have said, you know, 20 years ago, this happened. Right, 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 right. The our world was, and it set off a decade of this consequence and that consequence, and it was awful, and it was did this. And then I want a reason that I'm here. Now, 20 years later, we're looking at shock in a different way. We're thinking about, well, can you shock anymore? Or what, what was it about that thing 20 years ago that now makes a difference here? And sort of start to draw those kinds of connections. Because otherwise, it, it, it feels, this feels um, encapsulated to me. It feels like it's, it's sort of cocooned, and there's not, a, there's, there's not a sense of why I should worry about this matter. Although we started with, with lofty aspirations, we found as we worked and were challenged and challenged ourselves that what we had and what we were thinking would be probably more interesting applied to informative pieces, you know, for the paper in a town that's putting on a show. The idea, though, of trying to find some way to uh, unite uh, the kind of audience reaction we've talked about uh, with the, the, what we like to think of as a more informed critical reaction. But the, the information architecture isn't clear to me. It isn't clear to me how I'm supposed to navigate through this. Uh, if I'm looking at this first screen here, okay, I sort of get the premise, but I'm not quite sure what it is that I'm going to get, what it is that I might find, right? You've got to think about when you're doing stuff on the web is that um, <coughs> you have to assume that, that a piece of content is going to have a very limited audience, right? It might be even a sizable limited audience, but what you have to do is give people the opportunity to opt out of that content and find the content that comes after that, or after that, or after that, or after that. You pick up cumulatively a lot bigger audience. And if you put some piece of content up that's at the front here and it goes on, people are not going to find out all of the stuff that goes behind. Okay, our site is called Critical Mashup, and the idea is to present different forms of criticism. There are times, obviously, I love print and words, but there are times when a video mm -hmm. or an audio clip um, is the best way. So I think if we look at this as kind of a response to maybe what journalism, traditional journalism, is not getting to different audiences, and then just seeing what we can learn from that and just expanding on that. Um, the big idea, that it's sort of a journalistic old school thing, is you start with a big question and then you explore it using a very specific example. So the big question is, do you have to know a lot of stuff, of, or be not an expert, but really have some experience or some experience viewing a discipline to write about it? Oh. The idea was to create a site for uh, for theater nerds, for people who love theater music, and that we would go deep into one song, one song at a time. The purpose of this was to be able to give them a feature length project to work on, and that we wanted them to work together because so much going forward is going to be collaborative, we feel. that that. Most of these fellows now are freelancers, and that's the direction everything's going in. So how do you work together with other people 
to put together a story. Doug also would show them other examples of flip camera projects, not done by students, not done by fellows, but done, you know, some other ideas. And they would get very critical of those. So what was interesting was to see how their own hands-on ex experience was beginning to make them more discriminating. Part of what, what we're doing is we, we're reinventing what a journalist is. And in order to do that, you kind of have to go through the process yourself. It's really, it's really incredible to bring 23 people who've never met each other before together and uh, watch them commit and watch them understand so totally that their futures depend on their abilities to connect with each other, to form a network, to uh, resist judgment of each other, to reach down and pull up. On the whole, this particular group of people has been extraordinary, really amazing. And the level of, of criticism of each other's work, but in a constructive way, uh, has been a real joy.